the next time you encounter a difficult situation, um, a, um, a difficult emotion, a, an unexpected disappointment, or a um, unexpected hardship, I invite you to try this. Uh, I call this my, my OAR method. Um, o stands for openness. So be open to the experience. Stay open to the experience of what you're feeling. And I want you to, I invite you to imagine that the experience you're having, even the difficult emotions, are incredibly valuable information for your future and also for, if you want to imagine this, it's incredibly valuable for uh, the divine. That somehow the divine is living through you and that information that's coming through you with even the, the most difficult emotions um, if you are willing to take a perspective outside of yourself and see that, wow, you know, somehow I am a representative of the divine and I'm experiencing, and a Google car is about to go by. It's pretty cool. There you go. <laughs> wow, or a self driving car or something. Um, you know, it, it's almost like you're, sen you're an emissary. You're sending information back to the divine to make the divine smarter. Now, I know this may sound crazy to some of you. But it's, it's part of my, I guess, my faith. Um, but even if you just think that you're, you're keeping valuable information for your future, uh, so that's the first part is, oh, openness to the experience and, and even being grateful for that experience. And if you can take a step back and imagine that, it's much easier to deal with the emotion when you aren't um, only in it, but that you're also looking from outside knowing that it's incredibly valuable what you're going through right now, that whatever emotion you're going through. Um, okay, so the second part is A. Remember, it's O-A-R, right? A stands for action in a positive direction. So even as you're feeling badly, um, ask yourself, what is one small, maybe tiny action I can take in a positive direction? So maybe it's simply as small as taking a deep breath. Now that's a positive action. Maybe it's put bringing a smile to your face, even if you don't feel like it. Remember, the action in the positive direction is regardless of the circumstance you're going through. Okay, so take that positive action, um, and may or maybe it's um, saying a mantra, or it's writing, it's doing some journaling uh, about the things that are good in your life, and the things that you hope for, and the thing, and the vision that you have. So take some action in the pot, or, or if you're in a, a challenging conversation and you're feeling badly, remember, stay open, okay, stay open to the experience, take action in the positive direction. So um, think a good thought about that person. What's one good thing about that person that you admire, that you respect, that you appreciate? All right, send some positive energy to that person, okay? So that's the A part. The R, so O-A-R, O is openness, A is action in the positive direction, and R is reflection. Now reflection um, is not, it, notice that it comes after action. So what I mean is, you know, when you're in a difficult situation or a challenging emotion, it's, um, it's not a good idea to be reflecting on, on life right now and why is this happening to me and, you know, how can I um, repair the situation? Uh, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's not. So what I recommend is that you reflect on the situation after um, the emotional charge has, has, dis, um, has dissolved. Okay? So OAR, openness to the experience, knowing that you're sending incredibly valuable information into your future or even into the divine source. A is action in a positive direction, no matter how small, even if it's taking five seconds to send a positive energy or think a good thought about the person uh, that's challenging you or the situation that's challenging you. Uh, I have another video called Bless Anything That Annoys You and Get Positive Energy Back. I'll put the link in the notes of this video. And then R is to reflect after the emotional charge has gone. And the reflection can be done through journaling. Once you're not feeling so emotional about it, you can journal and say, oh, okay, what was the cause of that challenging situation? Is there anything I could do differently in the future to prevent um, the suffering that I had to go through? Or is there something of benefit that came out of that? 
because if you are creative enough, you can always find benefit or find something you can do differently to make your life better as a result of that situation. There's always learning and there's always a blessing in disguise. So I hope that's encouraging to you. O-A-R, by the way, is pronounced or, which is like having an or to help you row through life in a more gracious way. I hope that's helpful. Always open to your comments and any questions. Be well.